All right, y'all, I got this idea <clears throat> about taking this smoke and making, like, smoke come out of the volcano. Like, I was going to wait and do all this stuff when I started on that next track, but the idea is itching at my head. I just thought I'd try to do something. I just may not, this may not work. This may work. So what I'm going to do is load this image into my software to edit program program and edit pictures I can already see where this one was going <laughs> hey let me uh, find it where is there it is now this is a uh, JPEG so JPEGs don't have transparency so here I'll right click add alpha channel that'll allow you to erase the background. Now, ideally, you know, you could get smoke that ain't got a background. You know, you can do some searching for some smoke PNGs, uh, but you won't have to edit out all the stuff. But sometimes Photoshop, I believe, is a lot better for like selecting stuff that you want to just quickly erase. Uh, this magic wand on here don't seem to work as good as I remembered Photoshop working. So it can be a little work to, you know, select the stuff that you want to make transparent. Uh, but it is kind of tedious to get in there and get all that stuff out, which I don't have to worry about everything because I'm only getting this little bit here so everything else I'm not concerned with so I'll get up closer get a smaller brush when I get because you don't want a hard edge like this or it'll be obvious you want it to kind of blend but I will use a hard edge to I have these settings in the wrong settings, okay. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly kind of go around it here and there. And then I'll do, I'll select everything that's not the smoke and then I'll feather it and delete. And that'll give me a nice feathered edge. Which I would normally take a lot more time to really meticulously, you know, get that stuff out of there. But this will do fine. Just for an example, these little examples, they're just kind of like give you ideas what you could do. They're not going to be the best quality, damn it. Let me get that little bit. If I made things the best quality they could be, these videos would be eight hours each. They're already long enough, as it is. Which I think YouTube said, like, the ideal time for a video, like, it's like a 10-minute video. 10, 15 minutes. You start crossing the 20, 30-minute threshold, and you start to lose audience members. Uh... I can understand that. When I look for videos, I look for something shorter. I don't want to sit through a lot of stuff. I don't have to. There's too much stuff to do, you know. So, all right. I'm going to crop this to one-to-one, -one, which will give me a good resolution that I can convert the power to. Now, GIMP, I don't know why. When you crop, it still keeps the old image size. I wish it was more like Photoshop, where a crop meant a crop and didn't mean a crop, but a hidden layer that's a hidden border. I have to do this crap. Uh, crop to selection. Yes, that is what I want to crop to. Now, the image size is uh, not power of 2. It's 979 by 979, which needs to be power of 2 to be a DDS. 
which I was going to say, you know, I wasn't even going to fool with converting it, but it worked fine as a PNG. This takes more room. If I'm going to share this, I'd, I'd rather share a smaller file. It takes up less room on Google Drive. So let me convert it to 1024. That's the closest round number to this. It's closer than 512 by 512, 1024 for this size. So now I can export it as a DDS. Now I want to make this have better blending. So I'm going to select everything. Let's just let a little bit of garbage in there. That should take care of when I do this. So I'm going to feather, and each feather can be different depending on the size. It's the larger your image, the more of a feather you need. I like the way Photoshop shows a preview of what you exactly is going on when you do the feathering and stuff, but this one doesn't. I'm going to say 200. Start there and hit delete and delete. And now we got a nice blurred gradual dissolve around the edges. Now to make things easier, uh, which I still see some highlight there, which I ain't gonna worry about, not for this video. I'm gonna rotate this with Shift R. If you got GIMP, Shift R is to rotate. This one it's kind of straight up and down like this. And I'm gonna move it, and then I'm gonna correct this top where it's. It was clipped a little. All right, now I'm going to export this as a DDS. Uh, it's bothering me, that little bit of white. I, I can see it. I know it's there. It's, it's a little... Damn it, that's the wrong one. All right, change that setting. All right, that's a little better. Alright, for some reason my image size has changed. I see this board now. Let me re-crop this thing. Redo this thing. This is a thing. This is what annoys me about GIMP. Alright, now I gotta redo the image size. See, that wasn't the actual resolution. I'm more and more tempted to get down Adobe Suite. Or a monthly subscription to it anyway. Shit, they got it where now you can get all the Adobe stuff for like a monthly uh, like live service kind of thing. Export as desktop smoke2. Because I already got a smoke. Smoke2.dds. Now we'll go into GIMP. We'll do the animated texture or animated object. Or, no, it won't be, I don't know. Let's just see. I got two ways I think I can do this. Oh, compression type BC3. It says transparency. DDS has to be BC3 to have a transparency to work in a game. When you export it as a DDS, that is power of two for uh, being uh, using GIMP. Now the blender. Now this size of this doesn't matter. You can change the size of this in the game by scaling the object. So I'm not going to worry about importing in no, ob no object for scale or anything. And this is going to be just a, uh, I'm going to make a mesh plane. I'm going to scale it up. I'm going to rotate it so that it is up and down. I'm hitting R and then Y to get the, that direction and holding control so it's easy to lock it at 90 degrees. Now the ground being the green or if you're looking in from this view the red, I'm gonna move it by hitting G and Z and moving it up. Now it's about there, maybe a little in the ground. Which you can use these two to move things. That's the way I was moving it. And that rotates. If you prefer to rotate that way, you can. And you can hold down control and it'll lock uh, the same way. I don't like this because it's easy to get the wrong one. 
So I use the hotkeys. Now I'm going to go to edit mode. Now I'm going to subdivide this not too many times, just enough times that I can do a little shaping. Uh, I'm going to hit A to select all. Let's say I'm in edit mode. You know it's selected when it's orange. So edge, subdivide, probably do that. I don't know, maybe one more. Now what I want to do now is turn on, uh, it's called proportional editing. If you use 3D Studio, this is called the soft knee. Uh, it adjusts how many, uh, what the effect of one thing, how it affects the next. Like if I move this vertice, I have this little ball now that I can hit page up and page down and it'll allow me to do uh, this type of effect like for moving so what I'm doing is picking these vertices and just simply moving them squashing them in which I uh, I need to move them by hitting G and Y that way they stay on the same because I don't want them going in the foreground or background I want them to be on the same uh, I don't want them, you know, going this way. So Y is green, X is red. If you're using the hotkey, that you can tell which direction something's going. Now I'm going to pick these, and I'm going to hit S, and I'm going to say Y to scale that way. And then I'm going to hit G and Z. Z is blue. Move it up. So it's kind of like a column like this. I basically are trying to uh, get the shape of this, but it is kind of like a work in progress here. Now what I'm going to try to do may not work, but I'm going to try, I'm going to rotate along the X axis, or I'm sorry, Y, like this, I'm going to move it like this like wind has swooped swooped my smoke started to blow it off into the distance and now I'm realizing I should have subdivided more we're gonna have some hard edges I think that'll be all right We'll just kind of see how this does. Scale the top. All right, let me fix this with more subdivisions. So I'll pick A to pick everything. Edge. Uh, subdivide. Yeah, I did this. I think this is kind of ass backwards but that will work I think now I'm gonna go back to object mode and since I kind of did this the way that I did it and try to fix some of these hard edges which mesh which object smooth will fix some of it but I'm gonna apply a modifier see if, I can, see if I can smooth it a little bit And that helped a little. Now if I go to object, shade smooth, it'll look, uh, it'll look okay. Where's it at? There it is, shade smooth. So that'll help a little. I'll apply this. All right, now to put a texture of that smoke. Now that I think about it, this actually would work better as a decal. I don't know. I'm I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking for some reason. Yeah, that smoke's not going to work. 
it needs to be a smoke that is continuous amount of volume like that's not going to work because I mean because it's going to be moving you know like this it's going to look funny let me look at the other image real quick let me load the other one or you know what I could do I could I could make this work I could make it work I just need to put more smoke at the bottom so I'll just clone stamp some of this and just add it so that we got more volume careful when you clone stamp you can easily make things look like mud See, now we got this column that's what I was trying I don't know what I was thinking I don't know this is just kind of like the spur of this moment idea that I had it's like you know what let me uh, try this I had this idea and if it works out I'll post the video if it don't, then you know, join the rest that get deleted. Now I'm going to do is filter, map, tile, seamless. So that the top and the, that ain't going to work. I need to make it all smoke. Or at least tile seamless, just the part that, this part. Let me crop to that. Now tile seamless. Uh, all right, now the top and the bottom connects, and so do the sides. But now I'd have to fix the canvas again. Canvas size, image canvas size, and width ten twenty four. center resize all right now I will kind of erase the edges where it makes it more like a little column or like you know you know how smoke looks it's not a perfect sheet it's like a sheet or a towel being pulled up in the air it's got these little you know there's actually a brush for smoke in here that might work better. But you can't see. I can barely damn see it. Where is it? Is that it? No, that's acrylic. Boy, this thing definitely does not scale worth a crap with window scaling. There it is, smoke. kind of and it may it may not match perfect it uh may not but we'll try it anyway now oh stupid thing new layer no no new layer this is the only thing I don't like just the extra steps you got to do to make this thing be the right resolution now I just export be right over the old one now in blender now we'll get the texture Page color image. Uh, where is it? Image, image, image. Open desktop smoke two. And let's look at how the image draws on it. And uh, that is way not right. So we'll go to UV editing. And what we'll do is go to the view that we want the smoke. We'll pick all these. 
I'll just unwrap UV unwrap. All right, so that's the actual uh, or the actual mesh is going to draw. And this thing, I tell you, it doesn't. Why does it switch back? It should stay like that, but it don't know. Don't know. All right, and we need the part on the outside, so I got to scale it so that we get a good top and side where it's going to not look like it blends out. It's going to look like it uh, abruptly stops. Which for this delusion to kind of look right, it's going to need to uh, have a place to give it room to feather out, is what I'm saying. If it's all the way at the edge, it's going to be a hard edge. So I'll probably end up having to scale this a lot wider than what it needs to be, but I want to make sure I get get it right, which, you know, the more I think about it, it didn't do much good to bend that over to the left if the smoke's not going to follow that. So let me see if I can... Just proportional editing. I think that's gonna start. Yeah, it's gonna start messing up the texture. Probably should put the texture on first before I started moving stuff around. I mean, it is still kind of bent, but not in the way that I wanted it. Uh, let's see, let's see, let me think, let me think. Let's just see what it does, like it is. Uh, that's not going to work. I got to make that different. Um, I just have to sk I just have to modify the object. That's all. The texture will follow what the object does. I did this kind of ass backwards, I guess. thinking all right I just realized something else it's got the fade at the end too for this to work I have to select that and feather that and this time do like a 300 feather So we get something like that. I think to pull this off, that's what we'll have to have. Let's see. Well, 
Why didn't it update my damn? Oh, it did. I gotta fix the UVs. Or why? No, I shouldn't have to do that. Yeah, 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 hell yeah, I do, because I changed it. Uh, I do a lot of talking to myself. When I don't post a video, because I decide against it. I feel like Beam NG is my Wilson. Which is a, from a movie. Let's just try that. I have a feeling this ain't going to work. But we'll just go with that. Now I'll just put in our couple empties, a couple empty plane axes, base zero zero, start zero one, and put. Start in the base zero zero and plane in the start zero one by holding shift, left clicking and drag is how you move things around. The texture is going to be called Volcano 4, 3, I don't know, Volcano 3. Alright, let's export this to the grid map. that would be the easiest one to test it on, quickest one. I'll have a damn quick, short, quick folder to get me there quickly. I'll add it now, though. That'd save some time. Volcano 3. Volcano 3 smoke. No matter what you call the mesh, it don't care. Uh, I guess I could have made the texture. I love that I'll do it once I get in there. Probably better to do videos different ways for each video. I said smoke. I damn forgot smoke. No volcano three. What is it? Volcano three. That's my theory. I'm gonna make real quick. Color map. No two dot two. Okay. Save. I want to say, I don't want to get it that good shit sometimes. I get that sorted out. Mm. For the game time, is uh, version one. So, uh, maybe have some red smoke down there. No, it did work. I was thinking I was going to have some speed up smoke texture if I was just going to save it, but I guess it did. I can make this double size and get away with the camera so can see better. Let me make this double sided. There we go. Alright, now the next thing is alpha transparency. It'll be lens alpha. And there we got a smoke column. Which double sided means you can see you can see what I meant about the hard edge and you can see where I erased with the eraser. The difference that that makes when you do that. That's what I was doing. Now let's see if we can animate it. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. 
but it'll be a scroll and it'll scroll oh wrong way it ain't that way uh, shit. it's hard to get that back to zero be that way uh, but what I realize is you know got to be a better way to you see what I'm saying right so what I'll have to do is have the bottom the same it'd be just like Indian smoke signals you know the way it comes out it's not going to be exactly right but we're seeing this uh, abrupt line end here is what we're seeing all right so Let's, let me just do the damn feather. That's the easiest way that I know works. Good. Feather 300. Delete. All right. Now. Let's re-export it. And go back to the game and see the new. Well, we should see the new. Oh, it's prompting me. I think. Is it? No? What the hell? Yeah, save it as something else, I guess. Oh, that's because I overwrote the one on the desktop, not the one in the level. That makes a difference. There we go. All right, so it kind of fits that a little bit. Moving off is quick. It would be probably more like that. And it'd probably be much larger if it was a volcano. And it'd be kind of farther away. I wouldn't want to be that close. Which I guess now I should probably put this on a map that... Uh, I could have, like, experimented with the hills and stuff. But you see the imperfections in this because... I kind of did it backwards. I got the UVs backwards. As far as lining up to match so I could probably fix that real quick in Blender UV editor see I got it off I just have to redo the scaling move it Now I'm gonna re-export re -export it. Overwrite the one that's in there in the game now. Now that should update right away. Like instantly. Which I may have to switch materials to get out of the hell now. I don't see it. Usually it just updates it right away. <clears throat> That's odd. <clears throat> well, it's only because I'm making a video. I should have updated it. I shouldn't be disappearing like that. I don't know. Save the level, reload it. Sometimes the game just don't like things being sent over instantly. Sometimes it ain't a problem, sometimes it is. Just never know. I'm gonna 
lock up on me. It's having issues with something. I know this damn game. I know when it's going to take a dump and when it's not. I mean, I knew because it had a problem displaying that mesh, so I knew it had some issues. And clearly, there's already issues going on in the loo, so whatever. Uh, because it was, I saw them damn it, uh, things. I was like, shit, like that, don't I? All right, let's get that texture re edited because it uh, didn't save the work I was doing, apparently. All right, so it's a transparency of. Uh, lens alpha. Alright, then the animation is the bottom one, right? Yeah. So that's a little better. I just don't, there's not really a way to end this so that it is not a hard edge. Oh, unfortunately, I don't know a way to do it. So it really didn't matter that I put these inner, these, you know, different sections in there like that. Oh, yeah, double sided. That's what double sided's for. I have a couple of them. Oh, um, yeah, that's right, because I dragged a few of them. I guess you could have a few different size ones to have, you know, more of a, of a, uh, more voluminous looking smoke that's got more uh, which one of these is smaller than the other which one is it that one so we kind of got this little smoke effect maybe take all three of them and duplicate them then rotate them to somewhere else and we kind of start getting this you know weird looking smoke Oh, I pick all of them, I don't get an arrow to move them. That's some shit, ain't it? When you have that, when you try to do something like that and it just don't want to cooperate. Let me just see if I can put all these in a subfolder. Or group, rather. Put in a new group. Still... Oh, there's my damn thing over there. Well, that particle's not in the game. You know. The only way I'd know you could hide something like that is to have a fake cloud up there. <laughs> a fake cloud layer. Uh, well, you know, that that could work. Which I think this map's pretty limited. I don't think there's any cloud cover. But we should be able to add one. Cloud layer... And then the inspector, let's see, let's find a texture. Oh, it's got a texture. Uh, let's just do this. Uh, lower the uh, height. Uh, make it gray. Coverage. Uh, exposure. Oh, that's exposure.
think you can kind of hide it a little, I reckon. And kind of get it to match the color kind of close. Oops. I guess you could do something like that. As long as you ain't staring right at it, it might not be too obvious. Maybe make all these a little larger. Let me see. Now, either way, you're going to see that clipping. <laughs> There's no way to get around that. Uh, let's just go back to one of these and see what one looks like. Now, one, uh, you can see where it ends. I was thinking it was just because all of them were on there. But anyway, well, this is another fun experiment. With Beam NG. That don't look too bad. What do y'all think? Different. Something different you don't normally see on a map. And depending on how you kind of position them around, I mean, you know. Which I'll be looking more into this, how to do something more like uh, uh, something more along the lines of this. When I get to that volcano track, this is just something I always just had this idea. Let me try this, see what happens. So it's kind of, you know, I think it'd be kind of cool. It might kind of work. Let's see, see how it look on a level. <laughs> 